Hate to start out with sad news, but for those of you who have not heard, uh, Charles Lackey passed away this morning. But I guess if you have to share that kind of news, Resurrection Sunday is the day to share it. So just wanted to let you all know that that had taken place. Good morning, and so welcome to our service today. I pray the Lord will speak to your heart in many, many ways this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Easter Sunday. We are glad you're here today, and I'm excited for you this morning. The choir is going to have a presentation of Jesus, the one and only cantata, here in just a few moments, and I'm just excited for all the hard work that they have put in and to try to be a blessing to our church this morning. And so please be praying for them as we do that here in just a few minutes. But we are glad you're here, and we pray that this service is a great blessing to you. And let's read our scripture this morning from Luke 24. The Bible tells us that on the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the women took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood before them. And in their fright, the women bowed down their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still with you in Galilee. The Son of Man must be delivered over to the hands of sinners, be crucified, and on the third day be raised again. And then they remembered his words. And I I love in another uh, gospel there um, where Mary's in the garden and she's weeping and, and she hears a voice say, now, what are you doing here? He says, well, just tell me, if you have moved the body of my Lord, where is he? And all Jesus had to say was her name. And uh, every time I think of that and read that in Scripture, it just reminds me when Jesus called my name. And he asked, he said, Justin, and I listened, and I heard his call for salvation. What a glorious day that was. But as we remember the resurrection this morning, we celebrate all that God has done, that Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. Uh, They used to say, he is risen, and the response was, he is risen indeed. Amen. So let's agree together as we worship the Lord this morning. If you would stand as we sing this first song. He lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. Let's sing this out together. I serve a risen Savior, he's in the world today. I know that he is living, whatever men may say. I see his hand of mercy, I hear voice of cheer and just the time I need him is always near he lives he lives Christ Jesus lives today he walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way he lives he lives salvation to impart 
lives today he walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way he lives he lives salvation to impart you ask me how I know he lives he lives within my team plays let's greet each other this morning we're glad you're here make sure to greet our visitors today Rejoice, rejoice, O Christian, lift up your voice and sing. Eternal hallelujahs to Jesus Christ the King, the hope of all who seek Him, the help of all who find. None other is so loving, so good and kind. He lives, He lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. Amen. Good singing this morning. Let's sing this next one. Lo, in the grave he lay, Jesus my Savior, waiting that coming day. Jesus my Lord, up from the grave he arose. Let's sing this out together. the dark. 
our domain and he lives forever with his saints to reign he arose he arose hallelujah christ arose death cannot keep his prey jesus my savior he tore the bars away jesus my lord up from the grave he arose with a mighty triumph for his foes he arose a victor from the dark domain and he lives forever with his saints to reign he arose sing this last one before the choir sings for us this morning because he lives i can face tomorrow we have something that no other religion on earth has a risen savior so let's sing this out together god sent his son they called him Jesus, he came to love, heal and forgive, he bled and died to buy my pardon, an empty grave is there to prove. My Savior lives because he lives. I can face tomorrow because he lives. All fear is gone because I know. pray together. Father, we thank you. We thank you for a risen Savior. We thank you for the finished work on Calvary that was sealed by the resurrection of your Son. We thank you that sin could not hold him down. Death could not hold him, Lord. He rose, he arose because of that, we can have the calm assurance, Lord, that we serve a risen Savior and he works for us, intercedes for us, and we thank you and praise you for it. 
Now, Father, I ask that you'd be with our choir as they sing, and I ask that you would help them to clearly present the gospel through song this morning. We'll thank you and praise you for all that, they're, all that you're going to do through them today. We love you, and in Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you very much. You may be seated. Amen. Pray for the choir as they sing Jesus, the one and only. As we recall the account of Christ's ministry here on earth, his death by crucifixion on a Roman cross, and his triumphant resurrection, we are reminded that there was something wonderfully different about this one called Jesus. For it was he and he alone who could die for the sins of the world that man might be redeemed. From the very outset of his ministry, everyone knew Jesus was different. Not just different, but wholly unique. Even the Roman soldiers acknowledged this by saying, No man ever spoke like this man. His words carried power and authority. He performed miracles by healing the sick, the blind, the deaf, and even raising the dead. Wherever Jesus went, crowds followed. They were irresistibly drawn to him. And during his final week on earth, as he entered Jerusalem, throngs of people crowded the streets. Some spread palm branches on the road before him, shouting, Hosanna to the king. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. See the crowd. In the name of the Lord, 
When the time for Passover came, Jesus arranged to share the Passover meal with his disciples. During the meal, Jesus spoke intimately with his friends. He told them how the bread represented his body that was broken for them and how the wine was his blood that was shed. Their hearts burned within them as his gaze turned their way. They felt a depth of love they had never known. This one they loved was about to do something they would never forget, something that would change their lives forever. The evening was filled with sweet memories for his disciples. Jesus told them that he loved them and called them his friends. They knew who he was. They knew he was more than just a teacher, for he was truly a righteous man, a man who knew who he was and what he had come to do. Though they had heard Jesus' words, the disciples hadn't fully yet comprehended all that he had told them. Later that night in the garden, the events that described, that Jesus described, began to unfold as they were surrounded by soldiers who arrested Jesus and led him away. The hour had finally come, and while the disciples feared for their lives, Jesus embraced it. Mm -hmm. I watched as the soldiers laid the cross on his back that day. Oh, 
picture it all for I know everything Jesus went through on the cross was a horrible death that I God had promised a savior, and Isaiah had foretold his coming. The proclamation continued even at his birth when the angel said, Today in the city of David a savior is born, and he is Christ the Lord. But the name savior became a mockery at the cross. Save yourself, some cried. He saved others, they said, but he cannot save himself. He said he was the son of God. Let God rescue him now if God wants him. <clears throat> what God desired was to save us. So Christ stayed on the cross. After his death, he was laid in a borrowed tomb. And three days later, according to scripture, there was a great earthquake as God's resurrection power raised Christ from the dead. He is alive. The plan of God has been fulfilled. There is a living Savior, and his name is Jesus.
this Easter we praise God's only Son, our one and only Savior. Today we have every reason to celebrate the life we live through our risen King, Jesus, the one and only. Christ the Lord is risen today. Thank you, Justin. Thank you, choir. What you have been listening to over the last several minutes has been a presentation of the gospel. Anytime the gospel is presented, it always calls for a response. And so we want to give you a time to respond this morning. If you're here this morning and you have never put your trust in Jesus Christ, our prayer this morning is that you would open your heart on this Easter Sunday morning and receive Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord. If God is speaking to your heart in some other way, whatever he would have you to do, we ask that you would respond this morning by obeying him. Whatever he's leading you to do, you feel free just to respond as he's leading you. We're going to stand together. I'm going to pray, and then we're going to have a time of invitation, just an opportunity for you to respond to the gospel message you've heard this morning. Let's stand together, and then I'll pray. Father, we thank you so much for all that you have done for us through the Lord Jesus Christ. And as the choir led to us a moment ago, we pray that you, our Father, would come, your Holy Spirit would come, that Jesus himself would just fill this room with his presence. 
And as you speak to people's hearts, I pray you'll give us the courage to respond in full obedience to whatever you're leading us to do. We especially pray for those who have never opened their heart to receive him as their Savior and Lord. And I pray that on this Easter Sunday, they would open their heart and trust Jesus as their Savior and Lord. Help us to realize you want to forgive us of our sin. You want us to bring it, bring, you want to bring us into your family so that every single one of us can be children of God. Father, would you move in our hearts this morning? Help us to respond now, we pray in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Well, if there's a decision on your heart, whatever God would have you to do, you come this morning. I'll meet you right here at the front. sure many of you already know her, but let me ask Leah to come stand here with me. This is Leah Chitwood, and she comes this morning desiring to unite with our church the promise of a letter from Sylvania Baptist Church. What's the pleasure of the church on receiving her? Would you all smile real big and say a hearty praise the Lord? That's our way of saying welcome to the Broadway family. We're so glad that you're here. We're going to let you sit right there for just a moment, I think. Logan has some words for us, and after he's finished, you come back up here and stand and uh, let folks come by and welcome you into our church family this morning. Logan? Amen. You guys can be seated for just a second. I don't know about you, but when I woke up this morning, I was very excited. Easter Sunday is always such a great day. But I'm excited that my Savior's risen. I'm excited he's alive. And guess what? In the morning when I get up, he's still risen. And he's still alive. And then the next morning when I get up, he's still risen. And he's still alive. We serve a risen Savior this morning. Hey, if you haven't picked up a bulletin, please do so as you exit to Sunday school. If you um, are here and you're a visitor, one, thank you so much for worshiping with us this Sunday morning. If you would like to, to join a Sunday school class this, this morning and don't know where to go, come find me, come find Justin or Pastor outside. We'd love to point you to a Sunday school class this morning to get you involved there. Um, but like I said, let's get to the bulletin. If you haven't picked one up, please do so outside on your way to Sunday school. A lot of Save the Dates are still in there. A lot of stuff coming up in April. 
Um, also, today is the last day to give the Annie Armstrong offering. Again, that offering goes to local missions in the United States and in Canada. Um, on Sunday, April 7th, so next Sunday at 2 p.m., downstairs in the New Fellowship Hall, there will be a baby shower for Slade and Lacey Culpepper. Also, um, the food closet need for the month of April, so for the next month will be cans of green beans, and there's a tote in the back that you can drop those off in. Also, our Operation Christmas Child need for April um, is matchbox cars or similar size cars, so just little cars, you can bring those. There. Again, there's another tote in the back for those as well. Well, um, I think they have a video to show this morning, and then I'll be back up to finish the announcements. What you just saw was a, a video of one of our ministries here called Backpacks of Blessing. Um, we will be meeting, if you would like to be involved in that ministry, we will be doing kind of a, a kickoff again here um, in the New Fellowship Hall um, on April the 3rd. So that's this Wednesday night, downstairs in the New Fellowship Hall at 7 p.m. That ministry, man, is, is incredible. We are able to serve so many different schools of, of kids who need nourishment and need food. Um, we're able to service so many of those. Um, Brandon and Cherie Rains head that up. We would love to have you be part of that. It's such an incredible ministry, and we invite you to be part of that on Wednesday night, April 3rd. That's this coming Wednesday night at 7 p.m. in the New Fellowship Hall. Also, if you have not signed up for VBS um, and you would like to volunteer, this table right over here, you can sign up um, for a spot. Miss Megan would very much appreciate that. Um, and if you haven't, begin to pray about how maybe the Lord would use you during that time of VBS. Um, such an incredible time in our church as well. Um, other than that, we don't have evening service tonight. Spend some time with your family. Happy Easter from our church to you. Our Savior is alive and he's risen. Let's go tell some people about that. Amen. Let me pray and you be dismissed to Sunday school. Father, you're good, you're holy. Thank you, Jesus, that we get to gather together on Easter Sunday morning, Father, to celebrate you being alive. Father, as we've heard, Father, that's what separates you from any other in history, that you defeated death in the grave, that you got up out of that tomb on the third day. Father, so that we may be made overcomers by your blood, by your sacrifice upon the cross, that we may have eternal life through you and your sacrifice. Jesus, thank you for that. Thank you for the, the worship we had this morning. Thank you for our choir and their hard work and for Justin and his diligence and his hard work. We give you praise for that. Thank you for our church and the members that are here and the visitors that are here. Father, I pray you would just continue to bless and continue to, to open our eyes to the truth of your word. And as we go into Sunday school this morning, I pray you would help our Sunday school teachers to teach what you've laid on their hearts to teach. Open our eyes and our ears to hear what the Holy Spirit has to say to us this morning. And Father, help us to carry the gospel to the ends of the earth until across the street. And we'll give you praise and we'll give you honor this morning, Father, because you're worthy. You're worthy. We love you, Jesus. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Now, before you go, I want to ask um, Ms. Chitwood to come back up and stand. You guys come by and greet her before you head to Sunday school. You guys are dismissed. Uh -huh.